a science And he loves to play with fire And the things he'll do You can do If you so desire Do try this at home with Mr. T Hi, and welcome back to Do Try This at Home This is the show that takes ordinary household items And turns them into something extraordinary I'm your host, Mr. G and you know what I'm going to do today? It was so dreary and cloudy outside that I thought, hmm, what could I do today? I wanted to do something that was simple, something that didn't require a lot of elaborate pieces and a lot of setup. So I decided to make a cloud in a container. And you can do this too. Get yourself a clear container about this size. This used to hold pretzels, like those pretzel rods. and. Um, I don't know where I got that, but anyway, there it is. And get yourself some balloons. I cut the ends off of these nine inch round balloons because I wanted to be able to stretch the balloon over the mouth of this container. But first, let me explain clouds a little bit. To have clouds, we need pollution. So I'm gonna burn this paper and make some, ow. Come on, go out and make some smoke inside the jar to represent solid particles in our atmosphere. Now our atmosphere also always contains, the reason there's some water in the bottom is to make sure I have it, it always contains moisture or water vapor or water particles, particles of, of liquid. Now these particles, when in high pressure, are compressed and, and are, are condensed and they're not really visible. But when low pressure moves in, these particles get colder and they, they enlarge and they start to form around pieces of solid matter in our atmosphere like smoke or dust or any kind of pollution. So I put some smoke in here to represent pollution. Now I'm going to take my pre-cut balloon and I'm going to stretch it over the mouth of this jar. Well, doesn't always work the first time, but keep trying, you'll get it. It is kind of hard. I had really, I was messing with this earlier and had a real tough time of it, but that's okay. We'll get it. There we go. Make sure that that's stretched on there real nice like that. Now, the only thing left to make a cloud, and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna zoom you in a lot closer so you can see this a whole lot better. So hold on a second, I'll be right back. Hello, I'm back. I know it's hard to see me, but you can see my fist as I push down on the balloon that holds that's on the top of this jar. I'm going to move over to this side so that I don't block our view. What you're going to see happen here is first I'm going to make make high pressure inside of this jar by pressing down on the balloon with my fist. Now that should make very clear that should make the atmosphere in the jar very clear. Now with the high pressure in there we've also got the solid particles the pollution and we've got the moisture in there. So now, if low pressure moves in, especially rapidly moves in, it will form a cloud. Did you see that? Now, if you put high pressure back, the cloud disappears. Low pressure, a cloud forms. High pressure, the cloud disappears. Now, I'm really putting a lot of pressure on that. Hope it doesn't break. If it does, our experiment will be over. So, there's the high pressure, no cloud, and low pressure, voila, a cloud in a jar. You should try this yourself because it's actually a whole lot more dynamic and easier to see when you do it yourself. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it over and over. No cloud, cloud, no cloud, cloud. Whoop, there went, there went the balloon. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Do try this at home. No cloud, cloud, no cloud, cloud. Whoop, no cloud, cloud, no cloud, cloud. Whoop. What we're gonna use today is smoke. And to make that smoke, first of all, you're gonna to wanna to get a balloon before you make smoke. Let me, let me not get ahead of myself. Down here is I've cut the ends off these balloons with a pair of scissors. 
Of course, the green end didn't come from the pink balloon, but that's okay. Any plastic jar like this will work. Now, stretch this balloon and place it over the top of the jar. And wait a minute. And, for, and forget to put pollution in the jar first. Gee, Benny Christmas. Thirsty. Dry mouth. Too thirsty to do this. I'll be back.